Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I don't know what happened. I just was starting the video and then it just froze. Um, it's weird. But I'm doing another medium chip ramble and I am using today the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot, the sketchbook edition. Comes in a nice tin. It's on make playing cards. Um, I've got this crystal that I keep with it. I was told it's called Bone Something, which makes sense when I'm keeping it with the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot, but I honestly think it's a peach selenite, but it's very fragile. It comes pieces a lot, so I keep it in here. <laughs> but this is the deck. It is at Sepia Tones. Um, let me see here. Just go a little bit out. There we go. Um, and I just thought I would flip through the deck and, um, as I'm showing you the guys the deck, I would, um, talk about part two, as promised, of the mediumship ramble. <clears throat> so, the other day, I did a video, um, it was rambling mediumship, um, and I talked about, uh, you know, the question was, um, has anybody had any, um, or not the question to you guys, but I've had experiences where, um, uh, some mediumship experiences I've had doesn't correlate with other people's perception of what they've experienced, um, such as being able to pull, um, certain people through um or not being able to connect with somebody and my experiences have been where um as long as i have a name i can pull anybody through um i have the ability to pull them through the veil and bring them close to me um and i don't know that i've ever heard any other medium say that uh which is frustrating me because I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Am I not doing something wrong? What's happening? So this is why I started these mediumship rambles because just from the experiences I've had, they're quite different from other people's experiences um, that I've seen. <clears throat> and then we had a, and my main thing was, uh, that everybody has to have some kind of tragic thing happen to them in life. And while I did have tragedy happen to me when I was younger, since starting my spiritual journey, I have not had anything tragic happen to me. And that is another question arises that, is it because the trauma that happened to me as a child is what awakened everything? And it just kind of, I started paying attention to it more once I hit 40 years old or so, or is it tr not true that you don't need a, something tragic to happen to you to become open? Um, <clears throat> that's kind of been the main question that's always stuck with me because I'm like, I've not had anything happen tragic since starting all this, since actively going for it. But that doesn't mean that it's not true and that's not the case from when I was younger. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Um, there's also, um, I was talking about the Marielle, uh, well, or last time, and I was bringing up the Marielle, and then I forgot about it, and I just rewatched the video again, and I forgot about it again, so, <clears throat> someday, I'll remember what it was I was talking about, about the Marielle, and how it, I feel like it, once my grandmother passed, it, I feel like it called to me to open up and reawaken those abilities in me that have been long dormant. Um, and it's just, like I said I before, I have I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I am a medium. I have acknowledged that. Yet, there are parts of me that are like, what? <laughs> um, and so that's kind of why I started this kind of little series. It's just... just even if it's just a ch one-way chat, if somebody can comment and say, hey, I've experienced this too, or no, I've not experienced that. Here's my experience. This is the conversation I'm trying to start. <laughs> I did post the question I had last time about um, 
the question was, uh, I had a question on the Mary L was one of them was, can you reacquire or remember a past life skill from a past life? And I feel very much you can, as long as you're focused and as long as you're trying to do that. Um, I haven't posted that online, but I did post the next question, which was, uh, because I feel like for the longest, because I had such a a horrid childhood and I felt broken in so many ways, um, that I was only experiencing mediumship, uh, experiences with people that have killed themselves or were murdered and they were horrific deaths. And I'm like, why am I getting these? Why? <clears throat> and maybe that's the question I was going to re-ask. Um, because I love the Eight of Swords. The reflection in the water. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> because for the longest, I'm like, well, I must be in a, like a lower vibration or something like that. Maybe I'm just, I'm open. And I'm just, I'm so negative that that's all I can get. Is these people that have had these horrible deaths. But... Um, the last couple days since that video, I feel like that answer has shifted to where maybe not all mediums are equipped to handle suicides or, um, murder victims. And because of my childhood, I am better equipped to handle those kinds of experiences, Um, and that's what, that's truly, I think my answer is that, um, I had to go through my childhood to be able to help those that have passed, um, through these horrible, tragic things that happened to them, Uh, because I completely understand. I completely feel for them. Those are the ones that I'm more drawn to because I feel what they've been through. I've been in their shoes, so to speak, just not, you know to that extreme. Um, and so I've, that kind of, uh, uplifted my heart a little bit because I'm like, you know, even the ones that have passed due to suicide or were murdered in a horrific way, even those people need a voice. They need someone to understand and to help them move on or if they're trapped or just be compassionate enough to say, man, I, I feel you. I, I feel bad that happened to you. Maybe sometimes that's all they need is this, this voice to say, say, yes, I see you. I feel you. I understand that you passed this horrific way. Your story needs to be told. And I feel like that is my true purpose is to give them that voice that they didn't have in life or, um, even in death that some of them still don't have that voice. Um, and I feel like that is why I keep getting all of these. And it's weird because every time it's a suicide, I start seeing water like drowning. I start feeling like I'm drowning. Um, like I'm suffocating in just overwhelming amount of waves. Like I'm in this tornado storm or hurricane and I can't get out of it. And I feel like that's. It's exactly what these people were feeling when they decided to end things. Um, and that, it just makes me sad. But at the same time, I, I understand where they're coming from. I understand the dark places people can go to because I've been there. Um, <clears throat> and that just, it just opened my eyes a little bit the other day. And like I said, the que- I'm asking my spirit guides and things before I'm going to sleep these questions. But I'm not getting them when I'm wanting them. I'm getting them randomly when I'm at work or shop, grocery shopping or whatever. I'm zoning out and then all of a sudden all the answers are coming to me and I'm like, this is crazy. So I just, yeah, that was just the, the other thing. And then the other question I have, um, oh, the other one I was talking about was, uh, the signs and symbols, like, <clears throat> every time I see a medium or anybody, and I po- I think that's the one I posted online, and it got a, a huge response. Um, because every time I see, like, you see Teresa Caputo on Long Island Medium or other mediums, they talk about 
well, this is my symbol for this, or this is my symbol for that, or this is my symbol for heart issues or whatever. I don't have those experiences. I don't have any kind of experiences where I need to interpret things. I don't have the experiences where I need to um, make a journal of symbols. And I, this is one of my favorite cards in here, the Four of Pentacles. Just, I love it. Because she's wearing all her jewelry. Um, and she's dead. <laughs> like, and this is exactly what we're talking about. That's just crazy. But, <clears throat> um, it's still a gorgeous deck, even though it's, you know, sepia drawings. But, you know, it's amazing. But, <clears throat> that, <clears throat> sorry, and I wanted to let you guys know, I've had, yeah, I've been in and out of doctors this whole year trying to figure out why I'm having a certain amount of breathing problems. I did. It was told to me that I have asthma. Um, and for some reason, when the weather shifts, because we've had very, we had like 100 degree weather, and now it's been in the 50s every day this last week and a half, 50s and 60s. When the weather shifts like that, I'm having more and more attacks. And it's the more I have an attack, the more I have to use my inhaler. And the more I use my inhaler, it's causing like phlegm in my throat and stuff. So that's why I'm like, <coughs> always clearing my throat now it seems like on these videos but that's why um <clears throat> still don't have a clue why i'm ha all of a sudden have asthma or what's triggering it which i still have other doctor's appointments to figure that out but um uh, for now um yeah we're just trying to figure out what's going on there why i'm having these attacks uh but there are some answers and then i've had other issues that came up that i wasn't aware of so yeah we're just it's been a year of figuring things out medically. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to this. So that was my question was, um, everybody's like, oh, you need to make a journal. You need to do this. You need to make a symbol journal. And I'm not one of those type of mediums. When I do my mediumship, it's very what you see is what you get. I have a clairvoyance and claircognizance abilities where I just know this is how they died. I just know. And then I'll see something like a, like a projector, like on a projector, I'll see like a silent video because I don't hear anything. I just see it. Um, that confirms the thing I just know. Um, and so a lot of time my claircognizance and clairvoyance, when one of them comes up, the other one pops up and they're working in tandem together. So I've never had the experience where I've had to interpret something. Um, I'm sure many have, and most people I've seen out there have. That was another struggle why I wasn't believing that I was truly a medium because I'm like, well, I don't have signs and symbols. I'm literally, and that's messed up that this is the card that I'm literally talking about this, and this is the card that popped up. So when I first decided I'm going to start reading tarot, try to co incorporate tarot and mediumship abilities together. Um, I went online, Facebook, and I'm like, okay, everybody pick a deck. Um, and I had three decks hanging there and this, I had the colored version of this deck. Um, actually, hold on. Anyway, I had the colored version of this deck, which I'm looking through right now to find this card. This is the card the, in the colored version. And I went to read for somebody and, uh, I, it was one of those rare times where I immediately got a name. Um, and I asked about her father and her, well, first thing I saw in this card was I didn't see him harvesting the mushrooms. I saw someone meticulously working on a, uh, putting together a model airplane or a model train or a model boat or a model car and i'm like they were all model there was models everywhere all over there. i saw a dusty old looking cabin <laughs> and this old man sitting at the table working on an airplane but there was model boats and cars and everything around and she said that her grandfather who had passed um had loved model airplanes and boats and her dad, who she was no longer speaking to, um, uh, uh, did model cars. And, um, so stuff like that, that's like, 
I it's it is literally what I saw is what was happening and what what she registered with. Um, and she didn't know because she hadn't spoken to her dad in so long that she didn't know if he had passed or not. Uh, but the name I got was his name. So I was confused. <laughs> she was confused and, um, it was just a whole thing, but it, it, it is more like because it was not what everybody else was seeing in the cards or, or in any way, like there was no, signs or symbols I had to interpret that I must not be a real medium but I found since then and I did post this question the other day online that a lot of people have mediumship moments where they don't have to interpret anything and I'm like why are we not seeing those mediums those mediums that literally is what you're seeing is what's happening um and I'm not I just don't understand why you don't see more of the just like with this video, like you don't see any newbies mediums out there trying to practice live on camera because they either want to get it perfect or trying to perfect things before they go on camera or whatever. Um, and I'm the same way. I haven't really plunged into this because of all these things that I'm like, well, this isn't happening to me. So I must not be a real medium or I don't have to interpret signs and symbols. So I must not be doing something right. Um, so the whole thing went, Took, took me on a downward spiral <laughs> so um that is the second thing i want to talk to you guys about and that one was backwards for some reason in a state of ones um but that's the end of the cards um and i just wanted to come on here and do another video about that because i promised you guys i would and if you have any questions comments concerns um let me know in the comments below even if you've done if you if you are one that doesn't interpret signs and symbols or you do um i'd love to hear from both because you know like i said we're all i'm new to this hopefully there's other people watching that are new to this and going oh you know what i don't have that experience either but this and this and this has happened so maybe it's just they're different experiences like i said we're all different we all come into this differently um it's like our own personal religious experience that we're having so um yeah just let me know in the comments below what you guys think um if you like, like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos and you guys have a good night bye